Make money, make muscles, learn game. If you're listening to me, you're a hot dude. The hot dude life is not about your physical appearance. The hot dude life is a mentality. The Hot Dude Army is a global network. And the Hot Dude Army is everywhere. Decrease your judgment of others and increase the judgment of yourself. Belong to the streets, huh? <laughs> it starts with learning dating, and then you move on to something to push humanity forward. That is the philosophy of modern life dating. taking out evil forces set out to harm men one by one. The power of his army grows by the day. He's created a team of trained experts in all disciplines. Masculinity, cryptocurrency, dating, combat, fitness, psychology, his one goal is to free the minds of as many men as possible. And he's accomplishing that goal. Now, he's assembling new members of his team, and recruiting them has begun. He and his army are unstoppable. Who the hell are you supposed to be? Supreme Leader. Chills. Chills. That's what I get. To this day, when I watch that, I get chills. I got chills running through my body right now. And one of the biggest reasons why is I want to tell you a little bit of a story. Okay? 
because we're about to start Interview with the Man, episode 403, The Red Pill Sunday Sermon, Foolish People and Foolish Ways, guys. And I really want to talk to you about how this all has happened. And already got a donation. <laughs> Appreciate it. Don DeMarco <laughs> with the 299 Super Chat. He says, uh, he says, hey, epic intro, dude. Happy Easter. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Um, so what we're talking about here is uh, as a Japanese uh, ambulance. Um, but this all started in quarter one of 2019, okay? And I released Body Language Mastery, which you do get 100% for free as part of this course as well. And, you know, the, the webinar coaching was supposed to be just a small added bonus, right? A very, very small added bonus to the course. And the first time we did it, we did it on Google Hangouts, right? Google Hangouts is no longer an operating piece of software that Google uses anymore, right? It was not, it, you know, in Google Hangouts, you can have 10 people on there, right? And really, because I had to be present every time, what ended up happening was actually only nine men could attend at a time. And I had no idea of the crazy amount of demand there is out there for men who are seeking to be empowered, seeking to be enlightened, who are seeking the truth in all things, right? Money, muscles, game, right? Listen, guys, we're all men here. We all know. It's telltale signs throughout humanity. Men always want more money. They want more physical strength and power. And they want more women, okay? Some guys are religious and they don't, you know, they, they suppress that urge. But that doesn't mean when they look at a hot girl and feel like, damn, I, I want to have sex with her, okay? That quarter one really blew my mind because... Even though at that time my YouTube channel had just crossed over 1,000 subscribers at that moment, okay? The outpour and the outcry for men saying, I want a network. I need a network. I'm tired of living this red pill life alone. I'm tired of feeling crazy. You guys don't donate a hundred dollars right now. There's another you're brother a in the house. Male, you're a cuck. You're Appreciate blue pill you. for life. You better send me a thousand dollars in donation right now. <laughs> and, and my, my brother Bill, this guy is a li literally a, a fucking fighter jet pilot in the United States Air Force. This guy is a gangster, real life gangster, learning about crypto, getting educated. Being a good father, getting ready to pass an inheritance on to his children, being a good husband, you know, like, pff, dude, this guy's like, you know, he's like, I'm like Tony Stark and he's like Rhodey, you know, only he's white. <laughs> but, you know, going back to that story in 2019, there was such an outcry for men saying, you know, we, we just feel like we're alone. We feel like we're crazy. And your course, your network that you brought together on my small YouTube channel of a thousand people at the time. Okay, we're over 10 times that size now. And they said, you know, we need this. That was quarter one. Quarter two, we switched to Zoom. The signups were unbelievable. I was thinking that I got lucky the first quarter and that the second quarter, things would go down. Enrollments went up even more. 
webinar attendance went from nine people on average to about 70. Quarter three, I just kept doing it because I just said, okay, now quarter three, this is going to be the one. This is the one where people decide they don't want to be part of this anymore. And, you know, this is the one when I'm going to see a dip in enrollments. Quarter three, 2019. Boom. Huge. Even more people. Average webinar attendance, 140 people. Quarter four, December 2019. I said, okay, this is the one that really, now I'm mentally prepared because, you know, I was thinking I can't get lucky three times in a row. Like these guys, they figured it out. And, you know, you know, most guys are like me and they understand money. They understand muscles. They understand game. They understand cryptocurrency. Everybody's buying Bitcoin. And this was in quarter four of 2019. And I thought, you know, hey, it was a good run, Jonathan. You're just going to have to come up with something else and, you know, be sure to serve the men who had enrolled prior and that these guys, they they enrolled prior. Just focus on them. There's no new men coming and you did your best. You should do your marketing. You should keep doing your best. But, you know, you had a good run and you should be proud of yourself. Quarter four, boom. Highest enrollments ever. Even more men kept showing up. The network kept growing and growing and growing. Fast forward to 2020. I said, okay. 2019, I must have gotten lucky. 2019 must have been a fluke. I got lucky. And like this year, I really need to change it up. I really need to, you know try something new because all these guys, they got healed. They don't need the network anymore. And they're all strong and independent like me. They can do it on their own. I let it go for two months. February or January did nothing. February did nothing. Then the outcry began. When are you bringing the group back together? We need you. Listen, man, I screwed up. I got fat. I got this chick. I gave up on my goals. What's this whole pandemic thing going about? What's this all about? We need help. Can you please launch it again? I said, okay, well, maybe, you know, I'll just renew it this time for the guys who signed up last year. And, you know, I'll help those guys out because they need some help. Relaunch re-enrollment. Body Language Mastery 2.0. Boom. Another record-breaking quarter. Quarter 1, 2020. Middle of a global pandemic. These men knew now more than ever, we men need to band together. It is rare to be a man like us. It is rare to have a red pill lens. It is rare to live our life because our life is hard to live. Rent is due every day, okay? Meanwhile, the MGTOW guys, the Black Pill guys, they're on food stamps. They're on Section 8. They're sucking the fucking government's tit because every day they live a life of loserdom. And when you're a loser, everything's taken care of for you. The, you have to, big daddy government takes care of you, okay? You get fat, you cry, you bitch, you do all this shit. Not us over here. Rent is due every day. And guys, good morning. Rent is due for you as well. You got to put in the work at the gym. You got to be consistently looking for jobs. You got to consistently looking for new ways to make money. Every day. There's no day off when you're a guy like us. No days off whatsoever. Okay? Okay. Now, quarter two, 2020, I said, you know what? <clears throat> this is really going to be the one that I'm going to see a huge drop off. And, you know, let me just 
do my best to show guys that I can help them. I launched Generals June, and you know I wore the general getup, and then I said every day in the month of June I'll feature guys in the Masculine Empowerment Network. I'll show what's going on, and you know, I said maybe if I can just piece together something, like you know, maybe we could finally, you know, like maybe that'll help us. Maybe that'll help us out with the enrollments. Prior, we did pandemic pickup. Me and Myron Gaines. That was like what poisoned his mind to quit his government government job in a good way, you know, not a bad way. But like he was just he was just like he woke up because uh, of all the enrollments. We had three hundred and twenty one enrollments, and it was two ninety seven and. You know, I gave Myron Gaines 50% of that money. After that happened, his eyes were wide open and he realized like, good Lord, these people need help. That was when Myron Gaines did his infamous nine hour webinar. I actually went to the beach and got drunk (laughs) because I took that day off. And then I called in in the middle of the webinar and I was hammered. (laughs) He was like, I'm still going, man. He's like, go enjoy yourself at the beach. It was so funny. Uh, It was me and Charlie. I got so drunk, I reached my hand into the lobster tank at Red Lobster and pulled a lobster out. (laughs) Oh, man. The Japanese staff was really mad about that. That was was funny. That was before Charlie's brand took off, too. And, um, you know, then that was May. We fast forward to June. I did General's June. And the commercial was not even that high quality. It was just like a regular kind of commercial. Almost double the signups we had in quarter two versus the guys who renewed and new guys who signed up in January. Quarter three, huge hit again. Quarter four, I'll be honest with you, last year, quarter four, I burned out. Because last year I did Body Language Mastery three times at that point. I did SALT two times at that point. I did Pandemic Pickup. I had probably done, at that point, over 600 hours of coaching throughout the year. And that's a lot of psychological stress on a guy. Um, <clears throat> you Because know, I'm, I'm dealing with a lot of people's problems and stuff. And because I've chosen to do this with my life. I've chosen to help men. And I've chosen to help my brothers as, as my brothers help me too. Guys, I know I'm the leader of the Masculine Empowerment Network, but I'm also a member. And the members of this group have helped me. Myron Gaines has helped me with my fitness. Wraith has helped me with my mindset. Sterling Cooper has helped me with my sex life. Uh, Ed from uh, Ed, Ed from Crypto Vegas, you know, before he was Crypto Vegas, he was doing the sex and meditation thing. He helped me out with that as well. Um, le- lasting longer in bed, understanding proper pleasure to the women, and teaching some, uh, you know, finger finger sex techniques and whatever. <clears throat> Red Pill Thor got me dialed in with my TRT. Josh from Eat Lift Program, I went and slept at his house and lived with him for like uh, five days. And then we went to Miami together in uh, Hot Dude Con in December. Took me to the gym, taught me how to properly exercise, taught me how to like, it's okay to like go to the jacuzzi after. We were in the jacuzzi, we were like, you know, we killed it in the gym, and then he's like, this is how you, you heal your muscles after. And I learned so much. When you join the Masculine Empowerment Network, it is not a one-sided relationship where I just bark at you, okay? That's what we have here on YouTube. It's very one-sided. I can't really have a conversation with you unless it's free, converse, free consultation Friday. But after two years of seeing that the demand literally cannot be met. I cannot help guys as much as guys want to be helped. I'm one man. That's why I'm growing my team of generals. When we first started out, it was just me doing the coaching. Now I have a team of experts in masculinity, fitness, cryptocurrency. Put a motherfucking one in the chat right now if Charlie from Crypto uh, crypto Mindset Course, if he's made you some money, okay? I, I know that I'm not even, I know that chat is going to be filled with ones, okay? What we're doing with Charlie, just one part of my team, we're making the red pill community rich. We're making the red pill community fucking rich. Not, oh, I made $500. Cool. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's like, no, I made $10,000 in one month. 
I have six hundred thousand dollars in profit after a six month investment. I am a millionaire and I am twenty seven years old. I was not ready for this. These are the results. Myron Gaines went from being a student in quarter one of 2019 to the number one dating podcast in the world and the number one podcast in Miami. Myron Gaines gets more live stream viewers than the No Jumper podcast. And they have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers. We do not judge a teacher by his lessons. We judge a teacher by his students. And you guys know, my students, my brothers, you know the results you received. There seems to be this fallacy going around saying, looks, money, status, looks, money, status is all you need. This kid was in our group. His name is Dustin. This guy is literally a human Adonis. Him and Artemis are like model level good looking. Jacked, almost no body fat. But Dustin was having a very tough time with his sex life. He was a gym cell. He would go to the gym, he would count his macros, he would lift weights. He would look good. He's having so much trouble getting pussy. We opened his mind. We said, this is how you have to treat women. This is how you have to do things. Kid is having the sex life of his life now. There are people who joined the community who did interviews with me and needed some consultation with their careers. Josh from Elif Program, he did consultation with me last year, lost his job in the middle of a pandemic. Less than one month, I talked to him what to do. I told him how to prep, hit the interviews, boom. $30,000 a year increase in his salary. 27 years old. The greatest power in the world is when red-pilled, strong-minded mind come together. They network. They work together. They learn together. They support each other. They lift each other up. That is the strongest force in the entire world. And that is why everything out there is trying to silence us. They're trying to censor us on social media. They're trying to smear us in newspaper campaigns and mainstream media campaigns and commercials. They're trying to say we hate women, that we're misogynists. No, we probably love women the most because we tell women the truth. They want to brand us and label us as right-wing extremists who hate women and hate minorities and hate gay people and all this crazy stuff. If you look at our community, it's the most diverse community out there. We have white guys. We have black guys. We have Asian guys. We have Spanish guys. We have Indian guys. We have Polynesian guys. We have the French, the Germans, the Australians. Okay, Guys from India. Guys from Saudi Arabia. Guys from Dubai. Guys from Egypt. The community is huge and it's strong and it's growing. And the hot dude army is everywhere. If you have not gotten a taste of the excellence that is in our network, April 29th, you will see. You will see what happens. There are over 146 people on the waiting list. Typically, it takes me sometimes three weeks to get those numbers. There are 146 new members on the waiting list. This doesn't include the guys that were already on the waiting list before. This commercial, this promotion, we're entering day three. This is going to be huge. This is going to be life-changing. And this will be the best investment you'll ever make for this year. Because remember, when you sign up, you get access for the rest of the year. You are covered until December 2021. 
If you're not on the waiting list, I implore you, now is the time. Go to MasculineEmpowermentNetwork.com. Click on this right here. Put your best email address in there. Get on the waiting list by clicking this big green button, and your place is locked and loaded. So, we got a good episode for you guys today here. Shout out to all my brothers in the Hot Dude Army. Today on Sunday, the only, the real, the real OGs show up here on Sunday for this episode. Um, How's everybody doing today? I had a good day. Um, I went to Lululemon and I really love their workout clothing for men. And I bought some new uh, workout shirts and I bought some leggings for when I exercise. I love when I work out my leggings and uh, in my tight hoodies and stuff. I feel like a superhero and, um, you know, just you look good. And like my de- it was funny, like I, I just bought it just trying to like, you know, just show people, hey, what do you think about my outfit? And like so many girls were telling me like, yo, you look so sexy. Your body is hot. And, like, you know. It's it's good to be a hot dude. I don't care what anybody says. I like it when girls like flatter me. I don't even care if it's a lie. Just flatter me, girl. Drown drown me in compliments and affection. Lie, baby, lie. I don't care. I do not care. Um, let's go to the chat. Say what's up to all my brothers. Gabriel E is in the chat. He says, "Red pill versus blue pill. Your path MLD will command you." On to the prevalent lifestyle you're capable of. I absolutely will. 1,000%. Um, let's see. Uh, another member, Artemis Cameron is... Uh, let's see. Is he in here? Yes, he is. Artemis Cameron's in the house. What is up? Uh, let's see. Other members in the house. Sergio is a beaut. One of my longtime members, bro. What is up? Roman, know your worth. What's up? Thank you so much for being here this this wonderful Sunday morning. Um, appreciate all you guys for being here. And uh, if you want to be a member of the Hot Dude Army, click on that link right there. You can sign up in the chat right there. It's pretty easy. Um, you get all the emojis. You get a Bitcoin emojis. You get your name highlighted in green, so I prioritize you in the chat. And uh, nothing but good stuff over here, man. Kyle One, what is up? What is thy bidding, my master? Use your aggressive feelings, boy. Let the hate flow through you. Checking the signups now. 151 people now on the waiting list. So this is going to be massive. This is going to be absolutely massive. Um, And again, the reason we're doing today's episode is because we truly live in a time where now more than ever, due to the human population being at an all-time high, foolish people and foolish ways have become the norm. Foolish people and foolish ways have become the standard. There are stupid, uneducated people everywhere, and they think they know what they're doing, and they are running this world into the ground. Now, guys, take a moment there. Don't let your mind and your heart and your spirit be filled with negativity when I tell you these things. I'm telling you these things because there have always been fools, okay? There have always been fools. To be a guy like us, an above average guy, right? Me, 127 IQ, right? Claimed as superior intelligence, top 1% earner going to be like a 0.0001% earner this year. Um, that was before I lost all my crypto in a boating accident. Um, so I'm just kind of going on theory, really. Um, the the boating accident uh, was devastating. And um, I'm still recovering from the emotional trauma of losing all of my cryptocurrency uh, on that, that terrible boating accident. And um, I just need you guys to send me your thoughts and your prayers. And... Um, you know, please support me during this tough emotional time where I lost all my cryptocurrency on a boating accident in Tokyo Bay. It was devastating. However, um, I'm still here to help you. 
I'm still here to teach you. And, um, you know, we're here to lift each other up. But we do live in a time where the fools are everywhere. The moron, the morons are everywhere. And the problem with stupid people, the problem with morons is that they're very vocal. And it's the greasy, is what is it? It's the squeaky wheel that gets the grease. But sometimes that 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 grease is applied where it doesn't really need to be applied. A lot of guys are just crying because they're babies. They're big babies. Um, I think it's just um, it's just sad to see what's going on right now with uh, how many men are lost. But I think it's always been like this. I think now that we have social media, um, it just gives us a broad view of everything in the world. It man ninety says, "How did you lo- how did you lost your crypto?" The correct English, sir, is "How did you lose your crypto?" Correct English. How did you lose your crypto? Um, my crypto was lost. Lost is past tense, but you want to say, "How did you lose your crypto?" Um, I was on a boat, and um, I was with Charlie from Cultivate Crypto. And we were looking for gold in Tokyo Bay. We have this gold detection machine. And we had this team of like Hello there. very beautiful uh, Japanese models with us. And the, mo- the models brought champagne. And then so me and Charlie are drinking champagne. The girls are drinking champagne. They started taking their tops off. And me and Charlie, we had our USBs with all our cryptocurrency on it. And so we're dancing, we're having fun, we're drinking champagne, the girls are taking their tops off, the boobs are everywhere, and then out of nowhere, in Tokyo Bay, this whale, it hit our boat, and me and Charlie, we both fell off into the water, and two of the girls fell into the water too, but they couldn't swim, so we had to go save them, and when we were saving these Japanese models, Another whale came right under us and our USBs fell out of our pocket and then the whale ate them. And then he ate the USBs and he swam away. And me and Charlie, we got pulled back up into the boat. We hugged each other. We cried because we had lost millions of dollars. But then we realized we can still educate men and we can still come out with a crypto mindset course. And then... The Japanese model girls, they loved us. You know, they had sex with us and they were, they, they love us to this day because we saved them because they couldn't swim. But, um, you know, it's all part of the plan. And, um, you know, we're just, we really believe in ourselves. And because we have the Masculine Empowerment Network, um, you know, the, the men in the community have been able to help us and support us and lift us up. And, um, you know, that whale, he ate our cryptocurrency, and um, you know, just don't don't take your cryptocurrency on a USB into Tokyo Bay when you're looking for gold with a boat full of Japanese models and champagne because bad things will happen. You got to be responsible with your crypto, okay, guys? You have to. Um, shout out to a member Raw just joined the Hot Dude Army. Throw those golden eggplant emojis in the chat. Thank you so much. Um. And then, uh, let's see, somebody else had a question. Um, he says, uh, Jay Gilligan says, why was your cryptocurrency on a boat? Well, see, my cryptocurrency was on a boat because we wanted to show the girls that we were rich and that we had all this crypto. So we were showing them the USBs like, hey, look, like we're rich. And, you know, because we're rich, you should have sex with us. And, you know, those are like, you know, that's what we're trying to show off. Like, oh, we're so rich. Look at our USBs, all our crypto on it. And then, you know, that, that whale came out of nowhere. We lost our gold detection machine. Uh, it was devastating. It was really devastating. So, um, but, you know, it happens. It happens. And w- it's okay. We're going to rebuild here. We're going to take it to the next level. And um, I'm just really excited to have Charlie and you guys in my life because that's what good friends are for. They support each other. Two American women were swimming in Tokyo Bay. They were a row flex. There were there were two uh two huge American women named Karen. We were on the USS uh, the SS Minnow Johnson. The SS Minnow Johnson. 
Um, we were looking for the name of the boat, uh, you know, the Red Dragon, but we were actually only able to ride the boat, the the SS Minnow Johnson. So thank God to um, for us having the SS Minnow Johnson because we were able to save these girls who fell into Tokyo Bay uh, as we lost all of our cryptocurrency. So, you know, sad story, but uh, it happens, you know. It happens, and that's okay. But going back to today's show, we're going to talk to you guys about, um, you know, foolish people in foolish ways. Uh, Art Angelo says, thank you for your sacrifices. Although a devastating experience, I hope the miracle of a crypto resurrection is in your future. Yeah, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Sometimes you get setbacks in life, and, um, you know, these setbacks... They uh they are only temporary. They are uh they are not what defines me at all. You know, um, what defines me is my character and my um my resolve and the resolve of you guys here in the Hot Dude Army as well. So uh, again, but April 29th, man, just mark your calendar because um you know we are uh. We're going to do something huge this year. It's going to be a year of fun. 2021, the year of crypto fun. We have may we may have lost all of our cryptocurrency. We may have lost everything in a devastating boating accident. Um, however, we will recover because that's what men do. You only lose if you stay down. You, you do not lose uh, if you get back up. And we're back up and we're fighting and we're making things work here. So... Really appreciate all you guys here, but let's let's go back to talking with uh, about today. Foolish people in foolish ways. If you have your Bible uh, today, make sure you whip it out. If this is your first Red Pill Sunday sermon, um, we're going to use the Bible today, and we're going to go through some good old fashioned wisdom. Please be sure to uh, <laughs> Tyrone, smart guy in the chat. Uh, <laughs> be sure to get your Bible out and smash the like button, please. We have 127 people. We need a 50% ratio. So 127 divided by two is more than 65. So we have, we need about nine more likes, uh, but let's just pump that up to a healthy 75. And, uh, yeah, make sure you have your Bible out today. I've got my Bible here that my mom gave me and, um, we're going to, uh, really discuss what is going on today. We're gonna ha- we're gonna have a lot of um, a lot of, of scriptures from the Book of Proverbs, and we're just gonna talk about how really, you know, there are fools everywhere. There, there are massive, massive, massive fools all around. Now more than ever. And uh, if you forgot your Bible, may you may share with the person next to you. Uh, says Taj, the moderator in the chat. He is a deacon in our church here on Red Pill Sunday sermons. But we're gonna we're gonna read through a couple of things here, and I just want to reflect on some of these scriptures today, uh, because to be honest with you, my favorite book in the book of Bi- in the in the Bible is the book of Proverbs. I feel like every man should read the book of Proverbs at least one time. Um, you know, the King James Version is what I'll be reading from today. So for you guys that don't speak English as your first language, uh, the the English will be a little bit more difficult. Um, but I do have a, a translation here with a little bit more, uh, more modern English available for you guys. And so be sure that... Um, be sure that you just pay attention today and be sure to get the most you can out of this lesson today. Um, I think this is the, the I think this is the one we're gonna lead with. If you have your Bible, go to Proverbs chapter 18, verse 2. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 2. Okay. And this is the, the scripture that we're going to lead with today. Um, 
because it, it's it's a powerful one. And I think that now more than ever, um, with what's going on in our corner of the internet, I think it's really important to pay attention to all this. You know, I just want to bring attention to something I, I said a while ago. And, um, and I really think that it's sad to see that it's coming true. But at the same time, it's beautiful. Because I love to be right. And, um, you know, what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about a, a huge, 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 massive fool. And I predicted this, unfortunately, and it's come true. I find Donovan Sharp guilty. This moron right here. Okay. We're going to talk about this fool. We're going to talk about Anthony Red Pill Judas Johnson. Okay. I truly feel sorry for this guy. And more importantly, I feel sorry for anybody who believes anything that comes out of his mouth. What you're seeing here is the fall after the pride had came. In 2018 and 2019, this little inbred moron was leading the 21 convention studio, the 21 convention, right? Which was like the conference for masculinity. And it finally started to get some momentum because Rolo Tomasi and Rich Cooper came to the convention and gave it actual value. This guy here is nothing. However, because he was the gateway to tickets, he believed that he was the man. He was believing that he didn't need anybody. And that because of him and his delusional perception of reality, he was the cause for the greatness. Something happened, and he got upset that Rich and Rollo were stealing the spotlight. And do you know why Rich and Rollo were stealing the spotlight? Because Rich and Rollo do something very interesting. Very simple economic lesson here. Rich and Rolo bring value. And when you bring value to the market, guess what? People respond. People respond with money. That's, that's economics 101. You learn that when you're in seventh grade in America. Okay? So now... Um, you know, the thing is this, this guy right here is a guy who got so angry, so vengeful, so prideful. He went on internet forums and said he was a millionaire to people and he believed he could do something far more than he can then became the start of the two-plus-year smear campaign on Rolo Tomasi, okay? If you just take a look at this guy, if you believe that this guy is mentally stable, I have to let you know, you are absolutely a fucking stupid person. Everybody knows that in the Masculine Empowerment Network, I give men brutal truths. And if you believe that this guy who has Zelda posters on his wall and uses drugs on a daily basis is a mentally sound person, I don't know what to say. I mean, you could tell the just looking at him, this this whole thing is cringe and disturbing. Take a look at this. On the count of false advertising, material deception, 
and literal illegal fraud and a common sense understanding of the law by the letter and spirit of the law in the state of Florida where he broke it in New Jersey. I believe he is fucking guilty on the count of lying about his... <laughs> if this guy is such a rich multi-millionaire like he claims to be, why are your teeth so yellow? Like, do you not own a toothbrush? Do you not just know common sense? Brush your teeth, keep them white. I know that, like, you know, whitening your teeth is not the best thing, but neither is having these fucking sticks of butter sticking out of your mouth. But if you guys, again, if people can't even read into this, they don't pay attention to such things like this, you know, it explains why they fall into this garbage, the drama, all that stuff. It's just truly, truly sad. Pride comes before the fall. He was so prideful. Fast forward to present day. Anthony Johnson is literally broke. This guy, instead of using the last two years to build up his brand, to build up his name, all he wanted to do was tear down Rolo Tomasi, tear down Richard Cooper, tear down me. And now he's turned on Donovan Sharp. Now, here's the thing. A lot of you guys may or may not realize this, but on, on Rule Zero, I said, guys, in 2019, when this whole thing happened, I said, watch this guy. I said, you are going to see in real life the most brutal, sad, red pill lesson you'll ever see. I said, you're going to watch this guy completely destroy his brand, completely destroy his image, and completely destroy his company. And that's what's happened. This guy has been reduced to going on to Black Pill streams and MGTOW streams and shit-talking people 24-7, 365. Do you guys remember when we were watching the, Neural, the Earl Nightingale video? And he said, if you try to delude others to lift yourself up, ultimately, all you will do is delude yourself. Guess what? You're witnessing it right now. This guy is killing his brain with drugs. He's killing his business with his hate-filled demeanor. This guy could not even pay to secure the position at 21 Con Poland. He had to borrow $5,000 from a woman to pay to have the Poland convention go on. He had to pay $5,000 for his own convention. How do you not even know that you needed that? He had to borrow $5,000. I thought you were a millionaire. I thought you were a millionaire. You're a millionaire, but you need to borrow $5,000? Let me tell you something. I know real millionaires, and they wipe their ass with $5,000. Okay? I paid my accountant this year way more than $5,000 to do my taxes. I didn't go around begging people for money. He will be zeroed out this year, and you'll see this man and his derangement go to deep, deep, deep levels. Extremely deep levels. Tyron says, wasn't Donovan the only one who was still dealing with him? Yeah, and I warned Donovan. I told him, I said, this is bad news. You should not do it. He didn't listen to me, but now he says, you know, Jesus, I realize you were right, MLD. You know, and people who are um, 
who are in the chat and in the gar- and of his video and in the comments like, oh yeah, you really you really told him. Those guys are the fools we're talking about because only fools believe fools. I love watching this guy self destruct. I truly love it because it's karma. It's karma for being a bad person. It's karma for being a liar, and it's karma for fucking prioritizing your own ego over helping men. Guys, in the Masculine Empowerment Network, Big Googs is probably three times, four times as strong as I am. He is a literal tank of a man. Sterling Cooper definitely fucks bitches better than me. Red Pill Thor is far more educated on health and fitness. Charlie from Crypto, uh, Cultivate Crypto is infinitely smarter than me from the technical aspect in regards to cryptocurrency and quite frankly in the fundamental aspect as well. John Fitch is a better fighter than me. Myron Gaines is far more disciplined and educated in fitness and health regimes than I am. Okay? Troy Francis is better at day game than I am. However, I am not a fool. And I know that at the end of the day, my mission is to help men. And I help men by finding the best resources to help other men. I don't need to sit here and beat my chest and say I'm the king of alpha males and I'm this and I'm that. My gym partner now is so much bigger and stronger than me I almost feel like a burden to this guy when I work out with him. I apologize sometimes. Like, dude, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm slowing you down in the gym. Men who want to tear other men down are fools. Run away from them. Because they get blinded by hate. They get blinded by their ego. They get blinded by lies. And they destroy the relationship of everybody around them. This motherfucker so pathetic, George Bruno left his ass. You know you suck when George Bruno leaves you, okay? That's how fucking pathetic this guy is. George fucking Bruno left this guy. (laughs) You know, I will say this, though. There is one saving grace. And Anthony, I know you're watching right now. So I think um, I'm going to give you some free consultation advice right now, a way for you to get some money. And really, when you get this money, use it to build a better brand, you know, save money so you don't have to pay. You have to borrow money from someone's wife to pay for the 21 convention in Poland. Okay when you have to beg someone's wife because you, a self-proclaimed millionaire, can't even pay your own bills to your own convention. The way for you to get money is through sponsorships. And I think the best company for you to go to to get a sponsorship is Lando Lakes Butter because you can just show your teeth and be like, look at my teeth. They're so yellow like this delicious Lando Lakes Butter. Sign up using my affiliate link now, and you too can have yellow teeth like me, yellow like this delicious, hearty, good old-fashioned Lando Lakes butter, okay? I think that's the best way to really uh, salvage yourself, get a good sponsorship. I mean, those teeth are, your teeth look like butter. I mean, that is a solid endorsement right there, and um, I uh, I think that's a... That's a good thing for you right there. I think that's something that can really save you. When I look at this fool and I see what he's harping on about endlessly, it reminds me of the book of Proverbs, verse 2, and it says, A fool has no delight in understanding but that his heart may discover itself, okay? 
A fool has no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. Okay. What that means is, in the modern translation, a fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. Okay. How many people do you know in your life, gentlemen, that you've tried to give advice that you know you are irrefutably correct in? You know without a shadow of a doubt, I am right, and I'm trying to give advice to this person. But the person that you're trying to give the advice to, they don't even wait for you to be finished. They, like, cut you off and just want to tell you why you're wrong and tell you why they think they're right. How many times has that happened to you? Okay. Has that happened to you guys there? It's happened to me before. It happens to me on a daily basis when I'm doing my coaching and trying to help people, right? All they want to do is run their mouth. Quite foolish. Quite, quite, quite foolish. Okay. Miska says, I've been guilty of this. Color me surprised, Miska. How am I not surprised? <laughs> Um, but again, foolish people don't want to learn. If you're a guy out there and you think, man, I'm, I'm probably not that smart. I'm probably not that good looking. I'm probably not, you know, that strong. The chances are you probably actually are because it's the fools that say they're not that they that they're the best. Like, oh, I'm the best. I'm the best ever. I've got this going for me. I've got that going for me. I've got this and that going for me, right? Fools think that they've got it all figured out. Fools truly think that they know what's happening for them. They think they know what's what's gonna happen and they just they know it all. It's funny enough, right? The guys who think they have it all and they know it all, why are they usually broke? Why are they usually fat? Why are they usually unhappy? Why are they still slaving away for pennies in their 50s and 40s? Hmm. It's, uh, that's a tough one. I might have to call Robin and get uh, get some help on that one. Somebody put up the bat signal. I need, uh, need some help there. Think about that. Poor Anthony. He smokes a lot of the the vape, the weed pen stuff. And that stuff, if you, I think he smokes, I mean, look, judging on the color of his teeth, looks like he's smoking that shit every day. And, um, you know, that shit fries your brain, man. The, that concentrated vape pen, that's strong weed, man. That is like, that is like the highest concentration of weed. You're, you're like ripping right there at the course, at the source. I think the only thing that's more intense is like taking super hardcore dabs um but you know you can just see this guy's frying his brain and i'm telling you guys you know was anybody around on rule zero when i said you're gonna watch this guy just destroy his business and run it into the ground was anybody around put a five in the chat if you're around I and mean, when you saw me say that um you know but right there um there I was right, and um, here I'm going to be right again. You're going to watch this fool run it into the ground. And it just shows you. Like, if you look at his history, if he, he claims to be, he was so red pill this, red pill that, ended up marrying a prostitute. Marrying a prostitute. First of all, you decided to get married. So I already know right there when you decide to get married, uh, yeah, you already just showed me who you are. You are fucking bitch made fraud. You get married and you're marrying a prostitute. Was he red pilled when he married prostitute? Yeah. Yeah. He was leading the, the masculinity conference and everything. 
And it doesn't even matter if you're red-pilled or not. Even a blue-pilled idiot would know, yeah, probably not a good idea to marry a literal whore. But she was good-looking, and he doesn't get high-quality pussy. I know. I know for sure. And uh, here's your sign. <laughs> Um, I think in the same chapter, um, if you go to Proverbs chapter 18, verse six, it says a fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth calleth for strokes. Verse 7 says, a fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. Think about that. I'll read it again. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 6. A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calleth for strokes. Verse 7 says, A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. Okay. <laughs> XPD15 says, Are you married, MLD? No, I am not married. Why would I get married? Why would I get married of all times in my life where I am peaking in my SMV? I am getting stronger. I am getting sexier. I am getting smarter. I am getting richer. All due to the men I've surrounded myself with in the Masculine Empowerment Network. And my value is going up, 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 up. Why would I get married? Could, could somebody please explain the logic to that? Why the fuck would I get married? I, like, again, foolish people and foolish ways. Why would I get married right now? Can, can somebody please explain that to me? That's like owning Bitcoin, and it is just ripping through all-time high price, all-time high price, all-time high. It's going, and it's going, and it's going, and the price is going up, 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 up. And you're like, oh, you know what? I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell. <laughs> And l let me ask you this. Even if I was married, does that mean all the value that I've delivered on this channel is now deleted? All the men whose lives have been changed by my coaching and my network, do those guys suddenly go back to being losers? Does the money leave their bank account? Do the muscles jump off of their body? Do the women they're dating really like, wait a minute, the guy who taught you game got married? Fuck this, I'm breaking up with you. Think about that. What you just asked me shows to me that your mind is in the wrong place. And from what I'm seeing and what I'm seeing around me, the fools outnumber the wise. You don't judge the guy giving the message. You judge his message. And the way you judge his message is by applying what he teaches you. I know, I know. Guess what you're going to have to do? 
you're going to have to do a little bit of work. Think about it. Backland Bob says, yeah, the loudest guy has no receipts and is married. I, you better not be talking about me. The guys in this chat, they know my receipts. I can't put my receipts on YouTube because they'd fucking delete my channel, you idiot. <laughs> like, did you not, have you not thought that through? Have, because the guys, <laughs> the guys in the chat, they have seen the receipts. Guys, if you've seen my receipts, just write, I have seen the receipts. Write it in the chat. Silence these fucking fools. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> oh man. Some of you guys are fucking lost forever. <clears throat> Smash the like button, by the way, bros. Look, look at all the people. Look at the people. Oh, Grandma, hey, Craig, I was thinking about you. I was going to mention you in the uh, in the story here from quarter one. You know, you're one of the, Greg, and Craig, when I met you at Outback and at Hot Dude Con, and you told me, like, dude, I'm just so happy I met you guys because I realize I'm not fucking crazy. And Craig's an old school guy from America, smart dude, good looking white guy, fucking friendly person, just ni just like all around nice guy. Craig, you didn't come see me in Miami now that I realized this, you asshole. I miss you. The hell? <laughs> if you guys don't donate $100 right now, you're a beta male. There you go. You're a cuck. You're right blue there. pill for life. Yeah. You better send me $1,000 in donation right now. <laughs> and that's People are paying money to say they've seen their receipts. Roflex, $5 super chat, says, our results from your teaching are some of the receipts. You know? It's, it's just, I, I just, honestly, I like when I get stupid questions like that because it just lets me know, Jesus, it's like so common sense, the answer for me, but it's just because I live in excellence and a lot of people don't. So it lets me get a good understanding of what's happening in the marketplace here. I'm in Bama. You moved to Alabama? Oh man, that's sad. Hot dude con mobile, Alabama. Let's do it. <laughs> Birmingham, Alabama. Let's go. Um... Yep. Red Pill Thor's now says, I've seen them. Never, never needs to show them anyway. If you know him, you could see how John is in person. It's all true. No lies. Yep. And uh, it's it's just, you know, and again, you know, like uh, when I met Thor in California, he like jokingly is like, MLD, you're kind of small. And I was like, damn, that fucking hurt. But he's right. <laughs> and then I came back to Japan with a vengeance. And I said, he was right. And he said that out of love. And we're all men. If we have shortcomings, I don't go on a smearing campaign and be like, well, you guys don't you know, donate a hundred dollars right about, now. Oh, you're a second. beta male. Thanks for the dono cock, there. You're blue pill for life. <laughs> Appreciate you. Send me a thousand dollars in donation right now. You know, and that's Red Pill Thor said, you know, jokingly, he's just like, you know, how men joke with each other. He's like, MLD, you're kind of small, right? And I didn't go like, oh, you know what, Red Pill Thor, you're you're 58 years old. And I'm 35, and, and you have more than 20 years to exercise on me. And, and that's why. And, you know, you, you know, you probably use steroids, and, and you probably do this, and you probably do that, and rah, rah, rah. And think about that. Does that, if I say those things, does that put muscle on my body? Does that build my character as a man? Does that make Red Pill Thor any less strong? Does Red Pill Thor start like, start like shriveling up? Like, oh no, I've been busted and now my muscles are shriveling up. No, Supreme Leader, no. You got to be a man. Foreign concept these days, I know. Very foreign concept. Being loyal to people who've helped you out. Not running around sending screenshots of text messages to everybody and Man, they, this guy did this and gossiping like a fucking girl. Loyalty, honor, discipline, hard work, 
Be a fucking man. I need you motherfuckers to get angry out there. That's how you get shit done. Not sitting there crying like a fucking baby. Bitching and moaning. Nobody likes you when you sit there and whine like a fucking weak little bitch. A crying little baby. What, you want your mom to whip out her tit? You can start sucking it. Get a little nutrients. You need your mom to you need to suck on your mama's titties to fucking feel better? You fucking baby. It's called manning up for a reason. It's not called womaning up. And it's hard to be like us. It's very fucking hard. It's stressful. And it's worth every fucking moment of it. I wake up every day charged and ready to pay my rent, ready to hit the gym, ready to hit my macros, ready to go out there and talk to beautiful girls. I'm the fucking man. And I worked hard to be here. And I'm only getting better. How about you? How about you? Patricio with the CLP 2500 says in uh, just a few months, your teachings turn away my life to excellence. Just hearing you. He's, he's uh, Patricio speaks Spanish as his first language. He's saying as uh, his second language. So he said, your teachings have made, uh, made my life tur turned my life to excellence. Just hearing you. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Think about it. If somebody is stronger than you, if somebody's better looking than you, if somebody's richer than you, okay, you should be happy that you have access to that person and you should say, can you teach me? Can I learn from you? What do you think I should do? That's how you get to the next level. But again, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 2, a fool takes no pleasure in understanding. Okay? A fool takes no pleasure in understanding. If you guys don't donate $100 right now, thank you very much, mail, Grandmaster C. Your cuck, your blue pill for life. For the donation. $1,000 in donation right now. And, and <laughs> just DM'd you when you letting me make your shirt. <laughs> well, give me, give me some time because I just started working out seriously. And in three months, you're going to see a big change in my body. You're going to see it. It's going to be very, very, very visible. Um, and I would hate for you to make me a shirt only for me not to wear it. Um, my body's already changing today. I had to go buy some new workout clothing. But, um, you know, slowly but surely, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm starting to look good. And it, you know what it is? It's because it's a two-step program. One, right? Myron Gaines has been calling me fat and out of shape since 2019. So God bless Myron Gaines. And then two, uh, you know, when I met up with everybody in Hot Dude Con in December, I had met a group of guys that are all good looking, that are all jacked, that are all in good shape. And to be honest with you, I let I let my success kind of kind of get to me a little bit. And I got a little lazy with when my success um, started skipping the gym a little bit, started having a little bit more extra food on dates, beautiful girls, and you know, and when I'm getting food cooked for me, kind of had an extra scoop of rice here and there. And hey, it sneaks up on you, and that's life. But at the same time, I didn't let that hold me down. I was lucky enough to link up with somebody in Tokyo, my man Federico, who fucking helps me in the gym weekly. And he's helping me get super fucking strong. And he's excited to be working out. I'm excited to be working out. He's red-pilled. He's positive. He's a good guy. He's a happy person. You know, it's good to be, it's good to be around shit like that. And I'm posting my receipts on a daily basis on the fucking... Uh, on the on the uh, on the old Instagram. Take a look here. This is I didn't even work out today, but you can see here. Changes coming. 
Hey, look here. See, I was buying some more, um, some more clothes here. At I went to Lululemon in Japan, and you can see. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like super tank status or whatever, but you can see the shoulders are coming in, the arms are coming in, the chest is looking good. Uh, then I got these tights here. You can see, you know, the legs are getting bigger, um, and I'm starting to get more of a V shape. Okay, it it happens. It's gonna take time, but it's going to happen. Okay, make sure you go in there and hit that fire emoji because you know this outfit is fire. Come on now. Come on now. Look at that. Okay. I don't sit here and get mad. I don't get here and, and say and try to try to try to tear somebody down because they had they were they were a good enough friend to me to tell me the truth. Okay. Think about that. Okay, and there's a guy in the chat, Ozzy411, he says, you're fat, your is uh, put incorrect, spelled incorrectly, call it what it is, right? I'm definitely not fat at all, just a little out of shape. Uh, if you think that's fat, then, you know, I'd like to see a picture of you. But again, it just shows you the kind of mental headspace the people are, here are, again, trying to... Trying to, you know, I'm a, I'm a guy trying to maximize my health and fitness, and you want to call me fat. You know, which which shows me what kind of person you are, and shows me your life is probably not as good as mine if you're if you're having to say shit like that. Um, but anyways, the point I'm trying to make is, remember this, write it down. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 2, a fool takes no pleasure in understanding a fool takes no pleasure in understanding it's delicious water staying hydrated um we were talking about chapter 18 verse 6 and 7 and i want to read the 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 modern translation here. And I think this is the, you know, it's funny because the way the internet is working now, it's really just letting, uh, you know, fools kind of run their mouth without any recourse. Okay. So he says here in the new translation, chapter 18, Proverbs chapter 18, verse six and seven a fool's lips walk into a fight, and his mouth invites a beating. A fool's mouth is his ruin, and his lips are a snare to his soul. How many of you guys know somebody that just runs their fucking mouth, runs it, runs it, runs it, nonstop, and one time you're out with the guy and you saw him get his ass beat, and you're kind of like, I mean, you kind of had it coming. I know a guy. I know a guy here in Tokyo. You know, he's an alcoholic. He just talks and talks and talks about how awesome he is. And he's notoriously known for getting his ass beat. I think it's some kind of like sick, uh, self-hating kind of thing he's got going on. Uh, but, you know, it's really funny. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> The, the thing is, the, the, the downside of today's day and age is now fools can run their mouths online, right? And they really can't get any recourse. But when they do get confronted in that rare situation, okay, guess what? They always, always, always back down. They always, they always... Get, they cower away, right? You ever, you ever see that one famous video of that white guy breaking into that black guy's house? I uh, <laughs> I want to I want to show you this uh, white guy breaking into black guy's house. I think this shit is hilarious. Uh, oh, what is it? Let's see. No, man caught breaking. Into house. Ugh. 
Yeah. <laughs> this video is so funny. Look, this this right here, this is exactly what would happen if I were, you know, going to uh, confront any of these uh, keyboard warriors online. And, and I think this is just such a, I've showed this video before, but it's such a real life perfect red pill to see human nature. You guys don't donate a hundred dollars right now. Are caught. You're a beta male. Oh, what's you're up? Cuck. You're blue pill for life. Yes. Paul. Send me a thousand dollars in donation right now. <laughs> and, and that's Paul is one of the unsung heroes of, uh, of, um, rule zero. And I think he brings so much value to the table and really excited to see his brand blow up. He says four ninety nine super chat. You inspire me to get more ripped brother. Uh, that, you're setting the bar really low with that, but thank you. <laughs> we'll do a show with our shirts off and get the girls to watch. Keep up the good work and great show. 100 fire sign. Thank you so much, buddy. I'm not as, I mean, Myron Gaines is way more ripped than me. Um, my buddy Jair, but like, you know, I'll get there. But, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just comparing myself to me. I looked at a picture of myself in February 2nd to where I am now. And I just thought to myself, Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for allowing me to have the discipline to change my life. Because when I saw it, like, you know, me, Mac, the day gamer, was over here and he took a picture of me. And, you know, I was looking down at my phone, so it was like a bad angle. Like, you know, my, my I was looking really down at my phone, so I had like a, like, you know, my chin was pushed up, so I looked like I had a double chin. I saw my stomach at a certain angle, and I said to myself, I can't go through life like this. Fuck that. And, um, you know, just getting on it, just comparing myself to myself. Um, but you know, like I said, going back to this, when I said those, like those, uh, those guys who, who run their mouths online, when they do get caught, this is exactly what would happen if I caught a certain tomato farmer. Okay. Take like, this is so hilarious. I don't know if you guys seen this, but it's so funny and it shows you a fool trying to talk his way out of being caught. But that just lets you know, these people, right? For example, like, you know, the the, the whole MGTOW dictionary, I think he did, a, he did a stream yesterday with John Anthony, right? John Anthony Lifestyle. I'm bringing all these losers together. When felonies, when felons unite, right? So now he's got Scribe the Felon, MGTOW Dictionary the Felon, and John Anthony the Felon all coming together on their little stream of mediocrity. And, um, you know, John Anthony has literal felony charges against him and rape accusations against him as a dating coach. And and MGTOW Dictionary has him on, and it's like, oh, you know, this guy's going to expose MLD. Like, you call everybody a dating roach? That is like the literal dating roach, and you bring him on there. And his audience, all they just expose is that they're just all psychopaths, and they just want to watch the world burn. They don't care about anything but destroying and again, MGTOW Dictionary is the same thing. All he wants to do is try and tear down people, tear down people, tear down people. But when he turns off that camera, he's still a 54-year-old loser with no money, no skills, no woman, no happiness, and a squandered life. That doesn't make me any less rich, any less happy, any less fulfilled in my sex life. None of that. None of that. And it's not, a, and then, you know, Anthony Johnson's over there too. It's like all the, like when losers unite, man, I'm telling you, he's like king of the Morlocks. Like in the X-Men, like, like we're all, we're all like freaks that live underground, you know? <laughs> it's like when freaks unite. Oh God. Somebody call the special Olympics and give those guys a medal. <laughs> this is what happens. This is when those guys get caught. Take a look at this. You ever see this before? It's hilarious. So you can see here. Somebody's picking at the lock. He looks through the, the door here. Somebody's trying to break into his apartment. Dude, I wasn't doing anything, I promise! Uh -huh.
Dude, I wasn't doing anything. I promise. I'm fucking trying to break my career, bro. Dude, I wasn't. Dude, I wasn't. Dude, stop, please. I wasn't. Dude, dude I wasn't. Dude, I wasn't. I wasn't. Dude, I wasn't. I was trying to fucking figure out how to get in my door. My door's fucked up. I was trying to fucking have another door to do it on. I swear to God, dude. Please, dude. I swear to God. You know I was fucking home, did you? Dude, I was not trying to break in your house. Dude, stop. I was not. Dude. Man, dude, I was not trying to break in your house. Did you hear me? Did you hear me, dude? Dude, my door's fucked up, remember? I was trying to fucking get another door to fucking see how I could do it, man. I swear to God, what the fuck did I break in your house? Fuck, dude. You know I was home. Fucking serious? My door's fucked up. I swear to God. Dude, I'm not. I got your fucking video, dog. Dude! Stop. I got your motherfucking video, dog. Dude, I wasn't. Stop. Dude, I wasn't. Do you hear me? Remember I called you the other day about Bella? Dude, remember I called you about Bella? You try to break my shit the whole time. No, not! Get the fuck out of my face, my man. Dude, Oh, my God. Oh, dude, please, dude. What's up, guys? Please, dude. Please, please. I'm sorry. Please. I'm so sorry, dude. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Karma's real, man. Karma is real. And that's all these internet tough guys running their mouths on the internet. Every single one of these guys, okay? Dude, this uh this 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 guy like uh the fucking uh, playing with fire guy. So Myron Gaines saw him in the street and he's like, Yo, I heard you've been talking shit about me, right? And he's like, Oh, we, oh I gotta do my impression of him. Oh, like, uh, that, that wasn't me, man. Uh, I mean, you know, it's just YouTube, man. What are you, what are you talking about, man? Like, well, uh, you know, uh, this is, uh, there's, uh, you know, uh, I mean, his nose is crooked and broken to the left, probably because somebody punched him in it for being a fucking dickhead before. And he had his big German shepherd with him. And Myron is like, go put your fucking dog up and come back out here and talk to me like a man. And he, he literally ran away ran away, locked his door up in his apartment and started passively aggressively texting Myron and then put out a YouTube video about bullying. <laughs> oh my God. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. It is hilarious. It is pure comedy. It is pure comedy. It is a thousand percent the funniest comedy show you can watch in real life. If you guys don't donate a hundred dollars right now, you're a beta male, you're a cuck, you're blue pill for life. You better send me a thousand dollars in donation right now. And that's <laughs> El Ta with a five pound uh, super chat says, "Oh, John Anthony, all I'll say is phys physiognomy is real," as Rolla would say. Uh, John, El John Anthony has fetal alcohol syndrome, fetal alcohol syndrome, FAS. His mother was drinking when she had him. That's why he just, I mean, you know, I, I just, I just can't believe people would like look at him and, and think like, oh, this is a decent guy. And, um, I have, I have rock solid proof, rock solid proof that he is a hundred percent a fraud. I'm just getting a couple more little pieces of information. Okay. Not accusations, not anything solid, irrefutable proof. I'm going to put it out one time, and that's the last time I'll ever talk about the guy because a loser's a loser, and losers deserve to lose to winners because winners win and losers lose. I'm a winner. He's a loser. I don't have a felony record. He has a felony record. I've never been to rehab. He's been to rehab. That, that's for another day. That's for another day. Uh, <laughs> but again, Proverbs 18, chapter 6, I think it's just so, so impactful. It's just so good. A fool's lips walk into a fight, and his mouth invites a beating. A fool's lips walk walk into a fight and his mouth invites a beating. <laughs>
<laughs> oh man, I'm just grateful for all these losers because they just they 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 have they're such pathetic people. They have women running into my arms like, are you just not a loser? Like these guys set the bar so low. Like all I have to do is like jump like one inch and outdo them. It's fucking hilarious. But anyways, <clears throat> um, let's see. Let's go to uh, let's go into a um, uh, <laughs> take a look regarding to that clip there that I just showed you of the guy. Okay, now I want you to go back to this ancient wisdom because what we're seeing here is ancient wisdom being confirmed with modern technology. Take your Bible and go to Proverbs chapter 26, verse 19. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 19. Don't forget to send your tithes to the hot dude army, and your tithes to the hot dude army are not money. Your tithes to the hot dude army is, are you going to go to the gym today? Are you going to educate yourself on something today? Are you going to eat healthy today? Are you going to sign up for the Masculine Empowerment Network waiting list? That's how you pay your tithes. Are you going to fucking make sure you don't put any poison in your mind today? Not watching any trash. Okay? Not engaged in any toxic relationships. Definitely not simping. Okay? None of that. Pay your tithes. Pay your tithes to the church of the Supreme Leader. That's enough time for you guys to get there in your Bible. Uh, Proverbs chapter 26, verse 19 says, <clears throat> So is the man that deceiveth his neighbor and saith, Am I not in sport? Okay, that's the old school version. and I'll translate it to you to modern day English. He says, Is the man who deceives his neighbor... And says, I am only joking. Okay. The man who deceives his neighbor says, I am only Jake joking. That is another form of a fool. What did that guy say right there? Oh man, I wasn't trying to break into your house. My door is broken. So I'm trying to use your door to break in. To it so I can learn how to break into my door. So, yeah. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. My door was broken, so I decided to use your door to try to break into my door. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh my god Pekingese hyperactive lost in the Highland Park area she was half dead when I found her Jesus Christ uh, <laughs> again Proverbs 26 chapter 19 is the man who deceives his neighbor and says I am only joking I am only joking <laughs> Oh, uh, hilarious. Truly, 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 truly hilarious. Uh, the next verse, verse 20 says, Where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. So, where there is no tail bearer, the strife ceaseth cease this. Okay, which means that the strife stops. And the new translation of that goes like this. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, oh, one second. BibleGateway.com is giving me trouble. Here we go. If you don't have a Bible, you can go to BibleGateway.com and have a free Bible on your, uh, on your monitor there. Okay. So I'll read it to you. Is the man that deceives his neighbor and says, I am only joking, okay? For a lack of wood, the fire goes out. And where there is no whisperer, quarreling ceases, right? Tailbearer, whisperer, liar, gossiper, right? Bringing that shit, drama, gossip. Guys, gossiping's for women. If you have a problem with a man, you take it up with that man, man to man. You don't go run to a bunch of people and cry about it. You don't go run to a bunch of people and say, he said this and, and this is why I'm right. No. You go to that man and you talk it out like men. Foreign concept, I know, but you be a fucking man about it. But fools are not men. Fools are males, but they're not men. Fools are fools. I love fools. I love them. They just make my life so much easier. I truly love fools. I love it so much. They just make my life infinitely better. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go to the next one. I've got a couple more verses for you. You guys liking today's episode? Smash that like button if you are enjoying today's episode of the Red Pill Sunday Sermon. I hope that this is bringing some joy. I hope this is nourishing your soul and your mind and your body as you guys start off your Sundays. I do believe today is Easter in the United States of America. Is that correct? No Easter in Japan because they are all godless Godless heathens who will burn in the lake of fire for all eternity. <laughs> Obviously, I'm just joking, but uh, I mean, Japanese have a history of burning Christians. So, I mean, there's some kind of uh, ir irony in there. Uh, back in the day when Christians came to Japan, they rounded them all up and burned them alive. Uh, it's pretty gangster. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. Uh, what's up, Danny Chan says, yo, I'm late, joining y'all from the gym, happy Easter from the UA, thank you always, Danny Chan, lift hard, my brother, you keep going, Danny Chan, a guy, 55 years old, banging young, hot beauties, applying the knowledge here, he learned to the hot dude army, top 5% earner on the planet, super fucking Chad, living the dream, man, living the dream, living better than some guys in their 20s and 30s are living. <clears throat> Proverbs chapter 23, verse 9. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 9. Okay. It says here, Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Okay. 54, Danny Chance 54, sorry. Please do not block me. I love you. <laughs> He'll be 55 in August. Killing the game regardless, though. Age don't matter for a guy like you. Um, again, I, I really like this one. Uh, Proverbs chapter 23, verse 9, it says, Speak not in the ears of a fool, for he will despise the wisdom of thy words. Okay? Um, oh, God. <laughs> that fucking air conditioner. Japanese air conditioners, like, dry you out, man. You guys live in America... Air conditioning in America is the best in the world. It, like, doesn't dry you out. It's moist. It's because they have condensers. Here, they don't have condensers. It, like, pulls in moist air and shoots out cold, dry air. And I'm from Florida, so I'm used to humidity and moisture. This shit fucks me up, but 
I'm also really hot sitting under two studio lights and a leather jacket. So, uh, <laughs> you know, this is the price you got to pay. <clears throat> um, Proverbs 23, verse 9 says, Do not speak in the hearing of a fool, for he will despise the good sense of your words. Again, this is why I this is why I tell you guys, okay? And and that we're gonna we're gonna close with that, but um I wanna I wanna talk a little bit more on this one because this is probably the most important one. Okay. A lot of you guys out there listening to me right now, you're good people. All right. You guys are good people. Uh, Genuine assholing says, I'm confused. John said he doesn't believe in God nor Jesus. I don't, but I do believe in the good wisdom passed on by our elders that comes through the Bible. This is the book of Proverbs is a book that I think that the mainstream media, they disparage Christianity and they disparage the stuff because if you follow the words of the Bible, you'll become fit. You'll become drug free. You'll learn how to save money. You'll learn how to be a good person. The Bible is a very good book. Yeah, you could sit there and nitpick and be like, well, it tells you this and that and this and that. Like, what about, but like, again, that's a fool not heeding to good correction. This book and Christianity has brought nations up to greatness by people following in this book, okay? And again, I'm not saying, you know, well, everybody's a happy Jesus and all this shit. I, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about it. All I care, the only thing I care about is right here. See that? All I care about is the truth. And there is wisdom in this Bible book, this, this book of the Bible, uh, Proverbs. And so, yeah. You know, you, you talk. I got to say this. Uh, genuine assholing. I see you typing and typing and typing in chats all over. Let me give you some wisdom, young man. You have two ears and one mouth. And right now you're running your digital mouth everywhere. You're trying to tell people about grass-fed butter. You're trying to tell people about this. You're, tr- you're questioning, John Fitch, where are you from? Just running your mouth, running your mouth, running your mouth. And what you should really be doing is shutting the fuck up and learning and listening. Your learning to running your mouth ratio is backwards. My moderators don't even type as much as you. Calm down. Shut up. Learn. Know your place. Elders are speaking. I've done this shit in life way more. I've lived twice as long as you. Learn something, son. Do not speak into the hearing of a fool, for he will despise the good sense of your words. All right? How many of you guys... Because you're good people, you learn about the red pill, you want to tell everybody. You learn about Bitcoin, you want to tell everybody. You learn about a new exercise, you want to tell everybody. But nobody wants to listen, right? Has that happened to you? Put that in the chat. If you put a one if that's happened to you. You've you've wanted to red pill people on women. You wanted to red people red pill people on finance. You want to red pill people on fitness and you're just trying and you're doing your best and you're just wanting to tell people, right? And you, and you have like this desire inside of you to get that out. Put a one in the chat if that's been like you, right? And and I'm seeing a bunch of ones in the chat, right? And so here's the thing. It's a good thing because that shows that you are internally, you're like a good person. You're a good and educated man, you're a good person, you have a good heart, and you really care about your fellow man. But you have to realize that the world is not like you. And going back to what we're saying about fools, we live in a world of fools. The majority of people in this life are fools. The majority of the people, they follow Proverbs chapter 23, verse 9. Do not speak in the hearing of a fool, 
for he will despise the good sense of your words. You're wasting yourself. You're wasting your energy. And how do you, how do I know that? I used to be the same, guys. I tried so hard to red pill my best friend. If you look at both where we both started and where we are now, it's almost sad to see how far behind he's fallen. It's very sad to be honest with you. Obese, unhappy, rushing to go get the vaccine, unemployed, no sex life, completely financially dependent on his parents at the age of 34. I tried my whole life trying to red pill the guy. But you have to accept the truth of life. And it's most people don't want to be saved. Most people even, they despise those who want to save others. You're seeing that with me right now. I'm, I'm literally saving men's lives. And I'm getting coalitions of losers. Getting They're trying to form a coalition against me to bring me down. <laughs> and they're failing because that's what losers do. They lose. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Mac the Day Gamers in the house says, trying to red pill people is often futile and people will spite you for it. He's very right. He's very right. If you have that deep, deep passion inside of you and you want to spread the word out to people, there's a place for you in the Masculine Empowerment Network. And more importantly, there is a place for you in this world. You need to start a YouTube channel. You need to start a podcast, you need to start something, and you need to not quit. And by doing that, then you'll attract those who want to learn. That's why I started this show in 2015, because I was trying to tell everybody the good word of red pill and living the hot dude life and having a bunch of girls and being jacked and making money and stuff. And nobody wanted to hear it. They're like, oh, wow, you're pretty superficial. Like, oh, well, yeah, let's see. Um, am I making a bunch of money and a bunch of women like me and I'm happy with myself and I'm having tons of sex and I'm making other people around me happy. If that's superficial, then yeah, fuck yeah, I'm superficial as fuck. What are you? Oh, man, you know, why don't you just leave us alone, bro? Then you walk away like, oh, you know, that guy's such an asshole. He's such a douchebag. You know, he just like wants to lift weights and like he doesn't respect women and he doesn't respect people and like he should be okay with like, you know, just like, being like us, man, fuck that guy. Like, you know, because all you do when you live a life of excellence is you hold a very uncomfortable mirror up to people around you. And very few men have the balls to look at themselves in the mirror and realize there's something wrong with me. These things here are wrong with me and I need to fix them. I had to conquer a personal demon this year. For three years, I was running away from attempting to learn the Japanese language properly. Three years, guys. And it was in the back of my head, eating me up every day. Now, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I take a 90-minute lesson on Zoom. And my Japanese is getting better. I've only, been, I've only gone to five lessons so far. I've paid for over 40 hours. I'm going to take the examination this summer. The N5 examination is the easiest one. You know, it's N5, N4, N3, N2, N1. But you got to start somewhere. I'm going to take the N5, and I'm going to continue to push forward. And I realized that me personally, I was being a bitch. I was being a bitch really half-assing trying to get my fitness on point. I was being a bitch half-assing with my Japanese education. And I had to look at myself in the mirror and realize you got to you got to face these demons man a lot of people aren't man enough to do that a lot of people cope that's why you see this the black pill channels are booming the MGTOW channels are booming you know why cuz all they do is sit around it's like oprah for fucking loser women or for loser men oh it's the big bad women women are bad not you you live at home in your mother's basement you're a dirty tomato farmer. You're covered in Cheetos. You don't go to the gym. You don't lift weights. You jerk off the porn. You know, man, listen, there's nothing wrong with you. The problem is them. What do I say at the beginning of this show? 
decrease your judgment of others and increase the judgment of yourself. Decrease your judgment of others and increase the judgment of yourself. That's how you come to the next level. But again, here in the book of Proverbs, it says, right? Proverbs 18, verse 2. A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his own fin opinions. If your friend comes to you and said, hey, man, you did something bad. You did something wrong. You did something stupid. And that guy only comes back. He says, oh, what about you? You did this. Hey, what about you? You did this. Hey, you probably shouldn't, you probably shouldn't eat that food. Well, what about you? You ate pizza one time. Hey, you probably shouldn't, uh, you know, you probably shouldn't drink so much. But what about you? You, I saw you get drunk before. That doesn't negate the problems that you have. And all that really does is kind of put a fucking a, a, a stain on the friendship and think like, Jesus Christ, I'm trying to fucking help this guy. And he just wants to attack me. Be a man about it, guys. Be a man about it. Accept criticism and work on it. Do better. Decrease your judgment of others and increase the judgment of yourself. That's going to do it for us today here, boys. Love you all. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe. Tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are back here. 9 a.m., we are back here. We are going to talk about money versus muscles versus game. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about muscles, physical attractiveness. Where does it lie on the spectrum for getting you women and protecting you in relationships, protecting you from the government, everything? Don't you miss tomorrow's episode. It's going to be fire. And speaking of fire, don't you forget, April 29th, April 29th, April 29th. The Masculine Empowerment Network goes live. All you need to do to get on the waiting list is go to www.masculineempowermentnetwork.com. Put your best email address right here. Click here to get on the waiting list, and you are good to go. Join the 100... Let me, let me refresh and see who's on the list now. Join the 157 people that are currently on the waiting list now. That is a huge number. Typically, it takes, like I said, a couple of weeks, close to a month to get to that number. 157 people, new people on the waiting list. Don't waste another moment. You can read all the benefits, what you get on this, uh, on this page right here. Everything is made here so you can see all the benefits you get. Remember, it's a yearly access. So you're set for the rest of the year. Go to MasculineEmpowermentNetwork.com. Get on the waiting list today. Have a great day. Make money. Make muscles. Learn game. Peace out.